This question says, express this ratio in simplest form. They give us 600 meters to 1.5 kilometers. So they want us to express this ratio in its simplest form. Now, when we look at this, we must notice that they give us units. And because they give us units, it's important for us to look at these units to make sure they are the same. Now, if we look at this, they give us meters and they gave us kilometers. Are these two units the same? No, we know meters and kilometers are not the same unit. Because they are not the same unit, we're going to have to convert one of the units. And once we convert one of the units and they both have the same unit, then we're able to express this ratio in its simplest form. Now, there's a saying you can remember to always be able to convert from one unit to the next. The saying is, King Harry died by drinking chocolate milk. Let's say it one more time. King Harry died by drinking chocolate milk. I'm going to write the first letter of each word in the saying. So, for example, we know the first word is king. So, I'm going to write K. Harry died by drinking chocolate milk. Now that we have these letters, we're good to go. Remember, B is going to stand for the base unit. The base unit can be meters, it can be grams, or it can be liters. So that varies. In this question, our base unit is going to be meters. I'm just going to write M. So remember, B always stands for the base. Now when converting, you have two options. You can either convert meters to kilometers, or you can convert kilometers to meters. The ratio just needs to have the same unit. So if you wanted to convert meters to kilometers, the way you're going to go about it is you're going to find M on this chart, and we're going to move it, and we're going to see how many places it takes us to get to kilometers, which is K, KM. You know what? Let's just fill this out. So we know K is going to be kilometers. H is going to be hectometer. D is going to be decameter. We know the base unit is going to be M. Now D again is going to be decimeter. C is going to be centimeter. And M is going to be millimeter. Now that we have this filled out, all we're going to do is see how many places we have to move to go from meter to kilometer. So we're going to go one, two, three places. And we went three places to the left to get to kilometer. Therefore, in order to convert from meters to kilometers, we're going to have to move the decimal point over three places to the left. So if we look at 600 meters, we know in decimal, this is going to be written as 600. We're going to drop the meters because we're trying to convert it. So we're going to add a decimal point at the end of the last zero. And now we're going to move it over three places to the left because that's how many places we had to move when we went from meters to kilometers. So we're going to go one smiley face, two smiley faces, three smiley faces. Therefore, our decimal point is now going to end up right here in front of the six. So when we rewrite this now, we can rewrite this as point 0.600, but it isn't meters. We have now converted this to kilometers. To 1.5 kilometers. And we can add a zero in front of the decimal point. Now, when we look at this, we can see we have the same unit, which is kilometers. 
and because we have the same unit which is kilometers we're good to go we can now express this ratio in its simplest form by using our calculator all we're going to do is depending on the calculator you have you're either going to press the ABC key which looks like this or you're going to press this key which is the fraction key and it looks like this depending on which calculator you have you're going to see one of these keys if you have the ABC key you want to press 0 0.600 ABC 1.5 and if you have the fraction key you want to press 0 0.600 for the numerator which is the top part of the fraction and 1.5 for the bottom part of the fraction which is the denominator and when you press equal you're going to come up with the answer 2 over 5 now we know there are three ways to write a ratio and a fraction is one way so if you see 2 over 5 as a fraction, we know that can also be written as 2 ABC 5. But remember, we must put back the units. So because we had kilometers for our units, we must add kilometers in our ratio. Therefore, when we write our answer, our answer is then going to be 2 kilometers to 5 kilometers so this would be our answer for this problem remember you didn't have to change meters to kilometers you could have changed kilometers to meters and got the same exact answer so it's really up to you so for example if we wanted to change kilometers to meters let's see how many places we would have to move to get to meters we'll have to go one two three places but three places to the right so because it's three places to the right we would have had to move the decimal point over three places to the right therefore we'd have written this as 1.5 and we have kilometers to change this to meters we would have did 1.5 we would have dropped the units which is kilometers and we would have moved the decimal point over three places to the right therefore we would have went one two three so now our decimal point would have been right here and we're just going to fill in the missing smiley faces with zeros so we're going to have one zero here one zero here so now we end up with one thousand five hundred if you want to add the decimal point on a zero, you can. If not, you can just leave it out. I'll just leave it out. And now the unit is going to be meters. And now when we compare these two ratios, we know we have 600 meters to 1,500 meters. Now we would have 600 meters to 1,500 meters and as we can see we have the same base and because we have the same base we're just going to plug this into our calculators and say 600 abc 1500 or if we have this key we're going to put 600 in the numerator and 1500 in the denominator once you press equal you're going to get the answer 2 over 5 which we know can be written as 2 to 5 and we must put back our units and in this situation because we converted kilometers to meters our units is then going to be in meters therefore we can say 2 meters to 5 meters so this also is our answer for this problem So in the answer space provided, you could have either written 2 kilometers to 5 kilometers or 2 meters to 5 meters and you still would have gotten the answer correct. So I'm just going to write it right here. We have 2 meters to 5 meters or 2 kilometers to 5 kilometers. 
By the way, you don't have to do both ways. So any way would have been accepted. 